everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'm actually doing an april plan with me and it's gonna be a little bit more like relaxed i guess than i normally do and so hopefully i can just you know kind of sit and chat and tell you a little bit about myself and what's been going on so for now i'm just showing you the products that i've been using i always use my sharpie pen for like everything that i do in my bullet journal and then i am going to be using this pink crayola super tip marker just because I wanted to add a little bit of color. I'm just been super excited for spring and the weather has like started to get really nice and I bought flowers for my house, for my table and I don't know, the pink just really made me happy and I really wanted to incorporate some pink. So if you've watched my other plan with me videos, I usually don't do a big huge monthly calendar but for this month, I just really felt that I wanted to try it out again. I do like to use some of the same things that work in my planner but at the same time I do like to go back and try things because everyone's always changing and so I thought with all of the videos that I plan on my main channel and on my book channel I'm such a visual person that I thought it might help if I have a monthly calendar and try and just kind of you know put in exactly where my videos are gonna go instead of just having my normal YouTube ideas spread where I just write down which videos I'm planning but I don't really know when they're going or you know I don't really know exactly where in the month they're gonna go so I made the big huge calendar so that way I could use it for like a video planning type of system and then again my to be read shelf on the left hand side I love using that shelf I just I think it's just really cool to like go back in my planner and flip through and just see all the books that I've read I need to apologize for my hat that's showing I had to film this video like right after getting off of work before the sun went down so I still have my hat on for that and it made it into the clip so oh well I also cut my finger this week and so my beautiful band-aid is going to be showing in this video as well but I apologize for that and at the bottom I just did a little couple habit trackers I have one for reading because I like to see when I'm reading and I have one for keto because I'm going to be continuing on with keto like I normally am and I do like to see like how well I'm doing when I actually follow keto and then I do have one more spot and I don't know what I'm gonna do for that I don't know if I'm gonna put my Bible study there or I would love to start walking doing like a daily walk since I haven't been doing any hardcore exercise so I might have that as a daily walk spot then I have my April no spend spread and if you want to do the no spend challenge with me I will link my little group down below so that way you can do it I teach you guys how to do a no spend I also have a video all about it and I'm I'm hoping to save two thousand dollars this month so i'm super excited about that and then just my youtube ideas spread was on the right hand side and now for the last spread is my weekly spread and i decided to change it up from what i've usually been doing i was getting a little just bored with the little spread so i decided to do a tasks box on the left hand side that that way i can just have a running to-do list for anything that is important that needs to get done and doesn't really matter Matter on a specific day and then on the right hand side I have a little box for videos because I thought it would work out really well to just focus on what videos have to go out per a certain week and then I thought it'd be cool to do a little like reading schedule or you know something like that so I have a little like reading box over here on the right hand side and I have the days of the week because I thought maybe if it's a book that I need to get done I could write down the page numbers that I need to read that that day or maybe the amount of time I need to read that day to get it done because I've been reading a lot more on my Kindle Paperwhite and it tells me like how much time I have until the end of the book and I love that. Then I have my work schedule at the top and then the whole like middle area I can use the one side for groceries and meals like I normally do because I do use that constantly and then on the left side where it has the blank area, I can just use it for extra like tasks or if it's a certain day that I need to actually do something. And so if it's say for like, I don't know, Tuesday, I have to go to clogging practice, I could put that in there, but I don't always have to do things on certain days. So that's why I like the running task list. So here is a final flip through. It's just very minimalistic. I don't have very much for this month, but that's really how I like to plan.
I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!